Hello everybody, um, it is now Monday evening, it's around about 5 past 9, I've come down to the plot to sort the fire out, and also while I've been down here I've potted a few things up, and I've moved a few things around, um, I'm going to have to get my butt pulled out, pulled into gear basically, I'm going to have to start coming down once again on the evening times, um, I came down grand, I was fantastic, 4 o'clock, been down, sort the fire out, it was half full, um, it wasn't hot though, so um, I have to tell him about that when I see him in any case. Oh, so I need still fine tuning. We're both still trying to fine tune the fire at the minute. I'm getting it up to temperature at the minute so then I can put the coal on the top and that should keep it going over the night. I've cleaned the flue out and I've cleaned the top off as well. All in the dark. <laughs> um, so let us show you around what I've been doing just while I've been pottering on in here. Um, and yeah, let's turn you around. So I might as well start straight at the back here. In the back here, I've just been cleaning these leaks up. Just checking to see what they like, straighten them up. Just ever so slightly. I've just given them all a good drink as well. I feel them a bit bent, but uh, for Cumbrians, I haven't even I haven't um, collared these up, and they've got a nice size size on them. So I'm going to stick a message on tonight on Facebook to see what people's opinions are, and um, see whether or not I need to collar them or not. I don't think I will need to collar these, as they've all been pretty good so far. Um, I like the, these ones, I like the ones down at the lot, down at home as well. Um, I spin around, just of course still got the, the mini mums, as you seen last week. And what I've done is, I've cleared that bench out there, and I've got all of the Betty Blacks all lined up, equally spaced out, so they're all facing the same way here, um, apart from that one there. So, even though the pots aren't straight, the leaks will be. And once again, these as well, these betties are betty blacks. I might need to nick these buttons because they are starting to get a bit tall. But some of them are starting to fill out the pots themselves, which is good to see. Uh, GSNs are falling a little bit behind, so I've moved them. Obviously, they've been over the over the top of the pipe here, so hopefully they'll pick up in a couple of weeks. I mean, I've still got some nice twisty flags here, so they're not doing too shabby. I've just sorted out my uh, my Yorkshire Giants, and I'm hoping that these pick themselves back up after I've just nicked the buttons again um, I've got these six here and I've got these three here which are a mess and I've also got the ones down at home as well um, so I've just had a little bit of a tidy round in here I filled that tub up with water and some uh, some feed as well and I've also filled that tank up as well and I've got the cabbage seed in there from my own saved cabbage and we'll see how things go with them i'll uh, not expect nothing from them but we'll soon find out what i like and they are all just potted in to the back there so they're in the little pine pots all potted up all sorted out next task once i get down and um, regards to potting on sort of things and um, they'll be sorting out these leaks here and getting spread around but well there's a second it's funny how it's just getting very very hot all of a sudden so i think i need to put the, um, the, the everything back in the bottom as you can see here the flue alone is nearly at 500 degrees and that is really warm just being there in itself um so i don't know if you've seen that or not but um i need to go sort this fire off bell with this right that's that sorted out it's nice and warm in here now calm the fire down let's have a look and see what temperature it is so the temperature at the minute is 13.8 13.8 which is 56.8 so that's smashing it's exactly what i'm after keep these things lovely nice and toasty over the night um it'll probably get a lot warmer on here when the fire starts burning the coal um but that'll do me i'll see what it's like in the morning when i ring grana dave so a lot of you asked how I got on. I totally forgot to let you know um, about last week. Um, I did do my presentation. I did my presentation on Giant Veg because um, it was just a 10 minute presentation that overran by about 35 minutes. <laughs> um, 10 minutes, I was told it was just a guideline. So, uh, but to be quite honest, it went quite well. The guys who interviewed us, um, they had more questions for me than I did have for them, which is always a good thing. And it's quite strange when you're telling the interviewer to, uh, Code their questions till the end. <laughs> so um, yeah, I've had some good comments so far. We'll see how things go in the next two weeks. Um, like I say, it's easy to talk about something when you're passionate about it. Um, I'm getting me butt back into gear. Uh, so for me this evening, I'm going home because I've got work first thing in the morning. So I'll catch you all over the next few days to see what we can get sorted out.
Hi everybody, it's now um, Wednesday in the evening. Um, look, Leslie's at dancing and I'm in the back garden. The kids are abed, so I'm gonna get potted on and get some things sorted out. Um, there's still some time to sew some things at the moment and I'll go through with you is what I'm gonna be sewing um, and the reasons to why as well. And uh, I'll show you what I'm doing with the giant onions as well. Thanks to everybody that's watched so far the live video from last night. Now, thanks everybody for joining as well. I do enjoy the live videos um, and I know you do too. So let's see, see what happens. I might have another one uh, in, short, in short time. In the meantime, I'm in the lovely warmth of the grow shed in here, uh, where it is currently 15 degrees, and that's with no light, so that's with no heating on, which is fantastic. Um, I've made myself a little bench to get things sorted. I've got some compost. Now let's get things sewing. So one of the things that I'm going to be sewing are begonias. So these are the um, special mix F1 variety. Um, they so from January to March. Temperatures, as you can see there, 15 to 20 degrees. Uh, depth on surface, thinly, thin out, necessary spacing, harden off later. May plan out in June and continue on with that. So follow those instructions on the seed. There's 250 seeds in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my um, these trays here and just separate them out singly and just do drills in a couple of them. So I'm going to get that sorted as well. I'm going to do a few more giant cabbage. Um, the Marcus Powell long carrot seed that I've still got, um, which I will be um, keeping hold of that, and also the parsnip, the warrior parsnip, for the giant veg as well, uh, for the giant carrots and giant parsnips. I need to get me things ready for them, which I might start tomorrow. So, begonia, Semper florens. I'm going to put a few in this seed trays here. What I've got, I've got a half a stick here, I think, it's there. <clears throat> so, in fact, I'm only going to do that with a stick, I'm going to do it with the cabbages. So, I'm going to open these up, I'm going to get these sorted in here, bear with us, I've only got one hand. So, out of the packet, you get this. Now, I didn't, wasn't expecting this at all. And these are begonia seeds. Now, I was expecting small combs, but that's why I was quite surprised when I seen how many seeds were in the packet. This is going to be pretty fiddly. So I do apologise at the minute. Uh, I need to get this sorted so I don't lose any of the seed. I'm just going to sprinkle them over a couple of these two here. All right. This is going to be looking more than anything else. I've done a couple of deep drills in the middle here. And that's just... It's very thinly. You can't even see the, the seed in there. See the inside there. Right, I'm just going to check to see if I've got it all out. And that's them all out. So I think this is going to come in handy as well because I think they are mil. So 0.1, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 1 mil, 1.5 mil. That'll come in handy when I do a measuring and things. So I'm definitely going to keep a hold of that. Um, so I don't know if you'll be able to tell or not, but let's have a quick look, see if we can see the tiny little seeds. Uh, there's a few there you'll be able to see in with the compost itself. There's lots of little ones there. So they are begonia seeds. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my stick. I'm just going to cover over them. Both sides. Like a V. You do with the fingers if need be. There we go. Is that done? As you can see, just like you are with the when you're doing the potatoes, for example, and that's I'm done. So it says keep moist. So a little bit of water. That's a bit too much water. <laughs> and you get me bottle again. And that's the begonias sewn. So I'm gonna put them um on top of the the lights to be able to uh, germinate. As it's more than enough warmth up there to be able for them to germinate. Uh, and now I'm going to sow the giant cabbage, but I'm going to do these in intervals here. So I've got four trays, I'm going to have four in each section. So that's four, eight, 12, 16 cabbages for late soon. Kyle wants to grow a cabbage to the moon, so <laughs> who am I to deny him? <laughs> so that's a giant cabbage seed. So in there, I've got the pack from ABGVA. 
they're, they're all there. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. I think I've got five in there. Um, and these ones, yeah. As you can see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So all I'll be doing now is just pushing them down into the compost. There we go. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. These ones will just push right down. Once again, just V it over. Get them all covered. Bit of water. Jobs are good. So there's some more giant cabbage sown um, and some begonias as well. So next one I'm going to sow, I'm going to sow some Clapton cauliflowers to start them off. Um, it does say sow and does from February. I'm only going to do 10 or so and that's one would be it. I only get 30 seeds in the packet so I'll start the other ones off a little bit later on. So I'm going to put 10 in now and then uh, like I say, these are going to put it on top of the, top of the lights again as well. Same principle with the cabbages. I'm just going to Drill a little tiny little hole, pop them in there, and continue on with that. Let's say I'm only going to put 10 in, so I'll put two rows of five. And just like that, that's the seed sown for the clapping as well. So I'll just cover them over, just like before. Little tank of the water. That's them done as well. Right, that's everything sewn that I want to get sewn. What I'm going to do uh, next, I'm going to clean up a couple of these leeks and I'm also going to continue on um, opening up these flutes on these giant onions. Okay, so next task I'm going to get sorted out is these giant onions. So, giant onions that's in the four litre pots. As you can see there, I've got two canes on and the clips are all up the side. I'm going to open these up and I'm going to put three three uh, steaks around so I'm going to put it on super fast speed and we'll get these all done I'd say that's another good evening of potting on and uh, clicking and tinkering on done. Um, I'm contemplating whether or not to blanch the uh, pot leaks here. So uh, what I mean by blanch is getting the cover and just uh, a bit. getting the cover and just covering this over um, because we don't need, I need the button to be higher up. And at the minute the button is right there. So the ones at the lotman are all right. These ones, not so much. Um, so I think I'm going to select. I'm going to see what time it is first. I'm going to select to see which ones need doing. I might do these tomorrow evening um, or tomorrow night or whenever I get a chance to do so. Um, they are nearly ready to be potted up, to be honest. Um, the roots are filtering out the bottom there. Let me just have a quick look and see what they're like. Yeah, they're ready to be potted up. Got a nice good root system on them there. Just nice to see. Nice little fibrous roots as well. Nice and white, nice and clean. I best get some uh, I best get some four litre pots. Because I'm not going from two litre to three litre. I'd rather go from two litre to four litre. Then see how things go from there. But yeah, so these you can see where the button is on that side there. It's very, very low down there. I'd rather have it up here a bit. There's a couple of them that's already like that. Basically, what these have done is they've popped their own buttons, which is good if you want um, them to do it on like a Yorkshire Giant or something like that. But when it comes to combines, you want they are no renowned for being a short leak. So I am going to have to blanch these ones up. Um, but I've just stopped the time and it is getting on now. So I'm going to tidy up. I've got me a little nightcap 
bit of honey jack. Ah, yummy. And I'm going to go back inside and get comfy. So I shall see you all tomorrow. It's a day off tomorrow. I shall have lots planned for tomorrow. I'm going to go in and have a check to see what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to write the list up, basically. So I'll catch you tomorrow. Good morning. It is now Thursday morning. I've been and had my breakfast. I'm going to drop the girls off at school. Sort the Kyle, Leslie sort the Kyle out. Time to get sorted down the garden. So, plan of action today. I want to get the uh, the onion house roof sorted out. So, I'm going to take that off, first of all. Um, Grandma, I've just seen Grandma there. He's at his garden now. Um, he's just sorted the fire out. And he's, he's been, I like to say, he's been an absolute diamond. Um, the 10 degrees in here. I've got a couple more clamps, which I do need to put on. Wherever I have put them down there, they are there. So, I've got a couple more clamps. Should be the last two that I need because it is leaking a little bit at the back here where the joint is just because i haven't got a clamp on there so by the time i put them on it'll solve the problem with that um i'm going to pop down wilkinson's later on to pick some more tomato seed up uh, other than that like i say the main task today will be sorting that onion greenhouse out biggest task with that will be the weight of the plastic cover uh, even though it's not the best days we put the plastic cover on i haven't got time i'm at work i can't help when i'm at work and when i'm not i need to get this stuff sorted out so Let's get cracked on and see what we get done today. Smile, you're on CCTV. So that's, I've just quickly put that, um, that sticker on here. Um, the CCTV camera has been up for a little while now. It's all wired in and everything like that as well. Uh, I'm not going to show you where it is. I'm not going to show you how I set it up because it's security another day. So it's just known that it's there. The stickers are on. I can see everything from my phone, wherever I am. It's connected by Wi-Fi. Um, so a little bit of a more addi additional expense, but at least I know I can see exactly who's on the garden and when. So be warned, CCTV's up. I find out who it is, it'll be serious trouble. I've got a name from five different people. None of you know which know each other. Um, so that's been done, dealt with inquiries as well. So, anyways, enough of the bad stuff. Let's continue on to get this absolute pigsty of a garden sorted out <laughs> so task by the end of the day have the polythene cover on this um top of this roof so i need to take the roof panels out take the the beams off in the center roofing as well and uh get that sorted so i'm going to put these up and we want to get a crack done with that adjustments need to be made so back off again um, the, I'm surprised how quickly the top deteriorated to be honest uh, I was expecting myself a little longer than that but I need to clean up little nails and things like that so little things like this clean them up um, as you can see if I turn you around as you can see there is a bow of course if I already knew that anyways it's from where me and my dad cut the roof so that we can get it in the van so that section there and that section there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some pieces of wood and I'm just going to support that up so it's straight going across the top. So I've just spent the last about 20 minutes, 25 minutes sorting that roof line out. As you can see, it's a lot straighter than what it was before. Let's just go inside and show you what I've done. Excuse the mess, of course I've got to tidy up. But uh, what I've done is I've gotten a couple of these big lats um, that I've salvaged and um, I had a rather large metal spike, which I just pushed up into this centre section there and I just raised it all the way up like I say I'm, I don't do any mathematics now like that I just do what I see um, I've gotten two lats I've cut it at angles at the top so it goes flush with that top section there and I've gotten the bottom and all I've done is uh, pull, push it up a little bit and just screwed uh, put a couple of long screws into the side there to keep that up so that's levelled that off lovely right now what I've got to do is I've got to go around the whole, whole of the outside 
and everywhere that I've put staples, which is along the edge, so the legs are here, I've got to pull them out or knock them in. So I'm going to get on with that now before I clean everything off to get the cover put on. Right, luckily you're getting another set of hands. Uh, Dave Shaw's popped down. Um, I've got the big roll of plastic here. What I'm going to do is open it up, see how big it is, because I don't even know how big it is. I don't know if it needs to be opened out or what. Um, then potentially going to pop the, that one full sheet across the top or put two lots on, depending on the size that they are. Right, see you in a bit. Well, I made a mistake. This is all actually fine. That's not a problem. I mean, it's a little bit of, but it's going to be kept on nice and tight. Um, I've run out of battery with my drills. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to charge them very quickly for an hour. Show Dave my shed. Um, then I'm going to come back and finish putting the laps on this side and also on the other side anyways. So then that is done. Job I want to get done, the day done. Thanks very much, Grand. Thank you very much, Dave, for your help. new roof on i'm going to leave this section over and i'm going to put some uh, a bit of lat across the bottom there just so i can lift it up and down just for the vents and stuff like that as well it's not going to cause no bother there um we've made a bit of a mistake but i'm in a bit of a rush at the moment um as you can see put them covers on but issue is can't get in <laughs> So that's a task they was gonna have to take this off and just cut it up there and cut it up there. Same with the side as well. Get a cut across there and cut across there. But other than that, that's it done. All sorted. There's a tiny little bit of play, but it's still it is nice and tight. And um, it's nice and tight on the top as well. Nice and tight sort of there. I just wanna get a button to go across the middle of here. I wanna get this all cut across here, tidied up. As you can see, that's all the back done as well. So I'm pleased with that job. So, like I said earlier on, I was in a bit of a rush earlier on, had to get back and pick the kids up from school. Um, anyhow, never mind that. Um, I've come down the garden um, with Mr. Mr. Bumps here and all. Uh, we've been playing pool, been a bit of a poor result, but never mind. Um, so, I'll show you what Dave Shaw brought down as well, well, on the greenhouse, because I didn't tell you about it earlier. Um, and uh, that's me sorted for today. So, let's get you spinning around. Look what granddad Dave left us. Some licorice, all sorts. Thanks very much, Granite Dave. I love old man sweets. 
<laughs> so, Dave Shaw called down, he brought us some goodies, as he always does. Um, he brought me, uh, uh, I call them, what are they called? Amaryllis. Amaryllis. Uh, Amaryllis, which has got potted in there, which is starting to just throw up. Which I'm more with the over that, so thank you very much, Dave. I did buy a couple when I was at, down at uh, Harrogate last year, so thank you very much for that. That's fantastic. And he's also given me a banana plant as well. So that's something different, something new. So it's called a dwarf cavern. And that one. Uh, apple blossom so that should be a nice one he says it's nice big flowers and stuff so i'm quite looking forward to seeing how they, that turns out so yeah thank you very much dave for bringing those down it was nice seeing you again it was great for uh giving us a hand on the plot and he said he's going to come down as well another day and we're going to crack on he's going to give us a hand as well which is very kind of him um and like i say i'll repay the favor when i can as well um so yeah well this is me all sorted 17 degrees in this greenhouse i'm absolutely sweating <laughs> so i'm going to bank the fire up get sorted, get away home, and that's me done for this evening. So, very productive day. I said I wanted to get the roof on of that uh, onion house. It's done, fantastic. Time to move on to the next task as well. But in the meantime, I shall catch you over the weekend and uh, you'll see where I'm heading. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Just choosy check the leaks out while I'm waiting for the fire to, uh, to heat up. Um, Sunday morning, I'm down at the plot as you can see. What a busy, busy, busy day ahead of us today. I've got a full day off. Um, I will be heading over with the two girls to Dave's allotment. Um, so I'm going to go up there and get cracked on with him. Um, he's got a few things he wants to get done today, so you'll see it on my video and also on his as well. Um, the girls are coming out to give her a hand. Um, I've just been checking out the leaks in here. Everything seems to be tipped up. Everything's fantastic. Temperature's been fine as well. Granddad Dave's already been down this morning. I've missed him probably by about 10 minutes. So I'm going to check on the fire, get it sorted for later on. Go have a check to see how the new roof has lasted. It's been a bit windy. And then uh, I'll try to give you a quick look at the things that I can see in that has popped up. So let's get cracked on as Dave likes to see. So very quickly, the cabbages that I had on top of there for the heat to get them uh, get them started and get them going. Hasn't taken them very long to get going. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm going to put these up a height because you don't want you don't want them to be too much heat because what they'll do is they'll stretch. You can see that's what they're starting to do there. So I'm going to be putting them on the top up there in the cooler climate and where they can get the more sun as well. I don't think there's anything come up from the leaks yet. I haven't had a chance to have a look, but uh, I've given them a bit of a water this morning. Nothing in there. So I've got them cabbages done. Grandma Dave's been in and he's put up all of his, uh, his Betty Black leaks. So they'll stay in here where it's warm. In the tomatoes, I've seen there was some action on the tomatoes. There we go. The Roma tomatoes, they've started coming up there. And you can see they're all starting to throw up there as well, which is fantastic. I'll give them a bit of a drink today as well. In fact, now that I've got a bit of space in here. I'll put these in here. These are for Ant Boasted. I'm going to pop them up for them. Um, there's messages to see when it come up, and I know it's busy with my schedule and everything as well but uh, I'll put them up for you and just to keep them going for you mate so tomatoes are coming along I'm going to have to set another I'm going to have to sow another batch to be honest I need to get another batch sowed as soon as possible but yeah they're doing well looks like I'm going to lose this last uh, onion pip that I brought down as well as you can see it's rotten from the bottom so that's when I get chucked out which is a shame but never mind, it is what it is. I'll not be bringing the onions down here just yet. It's not really the right environment for onions. Leeks are all right. As you can see, the leeks are, uh, leeks are doing absolutely fantastic. But you've seen them all this week. Right, let's go check on the roof. So, the looks things it's all in one piece. It's still, still tight. It's good on this side. Obviously the door's not, I'll have to sort the door out. <laughs> All looks to be spotty dog on that side. There's a few little bits which I need to get sorted out because there's a few holes in. Shame I can't go in and check on the inside. <laughs> but yeah, that's all right. That's all sorted. Let me deal with that. Now, of course, what I'm going to be doing along this board here, I'm going to be putting the guttering back up because obviously we're going to need some guttering across here. I'm just going along the back and along the back to the watering tank that's on that side. That watering tank will feed 
water the, the plants if they need it. Obviously they might not need it with the state of the water that goes inside the middle, but never mind. So yeah, I'm very happy with the way that turned out the day. It's a job I want to get sorted out, which I'm pleased I managed to get sorted out with the help of Grant and Dave and also Dave Shaw as well, which was a fantastic help. Um, right, I'm going to get myself sorted, get things prepped for the fire for later on. And I'm going to head over and get the girls and head over at Dave's. So, so he's over there. Right, just arrived at Dave's. I'll show you what I'm bringing in for goodies. We've got some Collius there, some drinks for us as well, because you best get that pizza oven on the go, matey. <laughs> I'm going to come for some dinner. <laughs> Take the first in. Dave! Where are you? Where are you hiding? I brought some goodies. And the girlies. Hey! Oh, there he is. He's hiding in the back. Right. I'm going to pause you because I've got lots of things carrying. So we'll come down to Dave's today. Crazy Dave. To give him a hand. Take him down this. He shed, not this bit, just taking down that bit. So that's what we're going to get started on. We're going to take that down um, and then we're going to have a bit of pizza as well. Because, like I say, I've brought the pizzas down and uh, he's got a cracking new fire in here as well. For a fine new side of a house, like it's a canny little uh, fire, like it's a, it's a back boiler stove, just like mine is in this greenhouse. He's got it turned on there, ready to go for uh, keep, keep it nice and warm in here. Um, and obviously I've bought some, I've bought some pizzas for the pizza oven. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes as well. Girls down there as well. What are they doing? Is it playing hide and seek? I don't know when is it fun. Uh, we've got, we've lost Elizabeth. So I came with two and I've lost one. I came with half for you. She's not like she's just hiding. <laughs> it's just hiding, like it's hiding, like yeah. We'll have to have find you, like where are you? Oh, where's she? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you did you see where the rat went? It was, it was, it was running along there, and then it ran into the bushes over there. Are you sure it wasn't just you? Are you not just the rat? No, I'm not the rat. <laughs> How many men does it take to fire up a pizza oven? Well, considering this guy here, who is not near fire start, has started the fire. Yeah, man, let's get some petrol on it, man, and be sorted. <laughs> It'll be all right in a minute. This, this fire's gone out there. Oh, man. you can't even sort out two at the same time. What are you doing? God, hey. Leave, let's get this crack on. Let's get it sorted. Day 12, light in the pizza oven. <laughs> Dean and Dave are getting there eventually. A proper job by me this time. <laughs> He's got green flames. Look at that. That's mental. That's, that's Greg's. Paper. <laughs> <laughs> now, I remember watching Dave put this up um, when I started building my shed. Um, so I turned, turned my, sh my trailer shed into a normal shed. And I took inspiration by watching his videos putting this up. And now, I don't know whether that's a pleasure or not, but I'm going to get my hand pulling this down. <laughs> so let's see how long it takes to get pulled down. Well, there you go. That's the uh, majority of the structure down. Dave's absolutely buzzing because his kettle's <laughs> boiling on top of the fire. Woohoo! <laughs> Does not off, uh, let off some heat. Like, we just put that on, not knowing we will. You can get a gun already. And it's full of the bridge as well. Cup of time. Cup of Oh, there you go, that's behind the scenes of Dave's allotment. You can see behind there, that's his camera, that's what he sees as well. Are you recording now? I'm right? recording now, yeah, recording now. So there you go. I just saved me batteries. Side. I don't need to change batteries, I've got a phone, it lasts forever. <laughs> See you, Dave. Oh, hi, hello, Dave. <laughs> See you. Oh yeah? 
thing. I'm gonna fill the kettle, get rid of all the weed for first. I'm gonna put the kettle on, have a brew. Cause that's the first thing you should do. Whoa, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey Elizabeth, your turn, you do it. Go on, Elizabeth. Then. Right, the pizza oven is ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a couple of pizzas put in, just the smaller ones, and we'll see how uh, how how long it takes to cook them. Right. In a minute, the kettle is boiling, food is on, time to get started. So pizzas are in. But let's just the little ones, we'll check see how things they go with them. If they don't work, they'll definitely work in there. Kettle's on. Dave's gonna get the, the cuppers made because my kids didn't like iron brew, Dave. Oh, it depends what the cuppers. No, there's only one of them likes it. Elizabeth likes tea. Sky doesn't. Sky can have Lucas Aid. I've only got coffee. Sorry, right, I've got Lucas Aid. <laughs> what are you putting at me for, man? <laughs> got so, your pickies. Yep, yeah, I'll get that sorted, but you see, he sees there's no biscuits. There is, because I brought some. <laughs> oh! Well, the camera fell down. Apologies about that. We managed to get all the back bit off for him as well. As he chopped up wood for the fire. So that'll be that done. I'm gonna put a couple of boards across here just for the time being. And then uh, that's a good. Just get that little bass bit done, get that little last bit done, and that's a tort and tort. Pizza time, let's have a look and see what this pizza's like. So well there you go. It's working. Pizzas are nearly cooked, which is a good thing. Very good. Then we can get one more in, then get the big one in. Happy days! <laughs> right, I'm recording. Dave's recording. Kids are getting impatient because they want some pizza. Time to get the pizza out. Nice. <laughs> Warm enough. Cooked. <laughs> hey, get it. <laughs> right, get out. Get, get ours on. Gotta get ours on. Now we're having a chili, chili cheese steak. Philly chili steak pizza. Get it on! Time to get it in. Right, so that's all that sorted there. We've just knocked that board into that corner there. And uh, just pulled the cover over and put a lot across the top. <laughs> Glamorous assistant there. Are you happy with, us? Happy with all that, Dave? Aye? Aye, champion. It's been, uh, it's been hard graft, like a couple of us. I've got an extra two foot at the back there now. So all this space here will be for camping wild camping area Fire, cooking and all that excellent right well let's go and get the pizza on because we've got ours to do as you can see ours is there ready to go just need to put some more coals in the fire because we've just been swapping them from the big one to the little one just to keep for just uh, for speediness that's all the girls girls did you enjoy your pizzas yeah. were they nice yeah, had two. you had two well you had two you had two one. elizabeth had one because the other one's on top of there so, uh, aye. So, we're just getting the wood sorted for mine and Dave's, and we're going to have ours. So, here's it. I'm on the roof. <laughs> Up on the roof. <laughs> so, we're on the roof on Dave's allotment. Um, this flag's been doing my head in for weeks and months. I don't know about you, Lord, but I'm going to sort that out so it's flying proper. For Brexit Day, come 31st of January. <laughs> My my video. Yeah, my video, my video. My video. So my video. what I'm gonna do for him, yeah, is he's got a flu cap for the top of his uh, top of his flu, and if I spin you around, you can see there, it's uh, gonna go sitting over the top of there. So uh, wish me luck. <laughs> Should this when the fire's not on, but never mind. <laughs> I'm up now. Let's get it done. Might not look like much, but that is that on for Dave. It's uh, it's going to keep the rain out for a start, and. Uh, another task done 
So, are you happy with that, Dave? Done, champion. He's got the kettle on now. And the flag is flying properly. Well, we'll put that flu topper on, and it's uh, the cowl, and it really it restricted the airflow for some reason. So, Dave jumped up and took it off. Now working fine again. So, he's given me that, so I'm going to take that home and I'm going to put it on my four inch flu, um, because I've got a bigger flu than you. Bigger flu than Dave. <laughs> 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 um, so uh, what we're going to do now We're going to check the pizza For me and Dave Then have a pizza And pretty much call it a day Right let's have a look here Fire's still nice and toasty Let's see what our pizza's like here Oh that's ready yep. Dave that's ready I think it's time for me to have a pizza mate Oh let's get this out Pizza's done We just had to have a quick taste test To see if it was alright That's Dave's half That's my half it's all done. I mean, it's, really, it's a cracking job. It's taking a little bit longer than you would in a conventional oven. But I tell you what, it's done the job. Done the job very well. So, there you go, Dave. First pizza. Champion, let's yeah, get yeah. this. Let's get tucked in. Yeah, there's yours. That That's your bit there. So you take your bit. Let's go in there. Finish off your video and I'll sort mine out. Well, I tell you what. Nice pizza, pizza that. Oh, like that. Yummy! <laughs> so we're getting lots done today. Dave's happy. I'm happy. Spot on. Thanks, Dean. You're a star. Uh, that's not a problem in time, mate. Now I've got a busy day tomorrow because I've got a whole day down my plot. I've got pizza all over the side of my face. <laughs> <laughs> He's enjoying that. Right. This is me and done. That's it all sorted. Say bye, girls. Bye, girls. Bye. bye. See you all next time. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. And as good old Dave says, and yeah, I that kind of thing. Hit <laughs> that bell and subscribe. Right, I'll catch you all on the next one. See you next week. Bye.